So this lecture is about antifungal agents, but we'll be talking about one and one group of antifungal agents, allyl amines. The most important drug under allyl amines is the terbinafine that is used in dermatophyte infections. Right? When you talk about the antifungal agents, there are four classes of antifungal agents: allyl amines, acyls, echinocandines, and polyenes. In addition, there are single single antifungal agents such as glucofolin 5 fluorocytosin right we'll be see, we'll be discussing all these antifungal agents in a series of lectures but today we'll be, we are mainly focused on allyl amines right so allyl amines allyl amines and acyls they work by inhibiting the ergosterone synthesis allyl amines and acyls work by inhibiting the ergosterone synthesis and polyenes work by binding to ergosterol and making the holes in the cytoplasmic membrane. So they also work in on the ergosterol. Echinocandines work by inhibiting glucan synthesis, special beta 1 3 glucan synthesis inhibition. Right. So about the so the topic is about the allyl amines, but the currently available allyl amines are the turbinafine and naphtifine. Turbinafine and naphtifine. So how does the allyl amines work? As I explained, they work by inhibiting the ergosterol synthesis. So if you look at the if you look at the uh, the the uh, ergosterol synthesis pathway from acetyl CoA, farnesyl pyrophosphate, then squalene, squalene by squalene epoxidase produces squalene epoxide, the lanosterol by 14 alpha demethylase produce ergosterol. So allyl amines, allyl amines work. By inhibiting the squalene epoxidase enzyme, allyl amines work by inhibiting the squalene epoxidase enzyme. So that is that inhibit the, it prevents the synthesis of most important cytoplasmic sterol in the cytoplasmic membrane sterol in the sterol in the fungi, ergosterol. Right, it inhibit the ergosterol synthesis. In addition, when squalene epoxidase is inhibitors, there is accumulation of squalene. This accumulation of squalene is also toxic to the fungal cells. So there, there is another way how it becomes toxic to the fungi. So inhibit fungal ergosterol synthesis and also accumulating, accumulating squalene is toxic to the fungal cells. So the turbinafine is the most important allyl amine drug available, right? It is available as an oral preparation and is also available as topical preparation, right? So it's, it is the most widely used medication in dermatophyte infections, right? But it, the negative side of turbinafine is its bioavailability is less. It is around 40%. Why? Because it has significant uh, first pass metabolism in the liver. Because of that, bioavailability bio is around 40%. But the drug has a very high efficacy because two reasons. One thing is, it has extremely long half-life, around 300 hours, that is around 12 days of half-life, right? And notice it accumulates in tissues because of these two features, extremely long half-life and accumulation in tissues, the drug has a very high efficacy, right? And after entering the bloodstream, the, the, the drug reaches the stratum conium, that is where the dermatophyte infection is, right? So they, they approach us, they reach us the stratum conium, by diffusion to the dermis and epidermis. So we'll talk about the clinical uses of turbinafine. Right? Turbinafines are turbinafine is effective for all dermatophyte infections. Right? They are very effective for dermatophyte infection. They are highly effective. This is the class, the, the first line treatment for dermatophyte infections of the nails, tinea unguium. Right? So the turbinafine is the First line treatment, drug of choice for tinea unguium, that is dermatophyte infection of nails. Two reasons, because there is rapid diffusion, diffusion of the drug from the nail bed to the nail plate, right? There is rapid diffusion, that is one reason. The other reason is the drug persists in the nail for a long period even after discontinuation of the treatment. So drug persists in the nail for a longer period because of those two reasons the turbinafine is very effective for uh, tinea ungu, right? So other other medication under this uh, allyl amine is naphtifine. It is available only as a topical applicant, right? It's a topical application only, 
right so it's used, it's also used in dermatophyte infections right then about benzylamines right benzylamines are also they are a different class but they are very similar to allylamines so that's why we are talking here benzylamines they have the same mechanism they inhibit the scalene epoxidase enzyme so same mechanism the only medication under benzylamines is butenafine is available only yeah, or it's as a topical preparation it is available for topical uh, as a only for topical application so it's also used for dermatophyte infections right so that is about the li lamines and benzyl lamines if you have any questions please let me know and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, also hit the like button thank you